Hey guys, breaking news. Great commentary to the Lotus Sutra was published a couple days ago. This book is the threefold Lotus Sutra itself, and the book that was published just now is called Buddhism for Today, written by the author Nikkyo Niwano, who is the founder of the global Buddhist movement called Richard Kosekai. I haven't done any close analysis of the book yet, but I just want to give out this great news to you all. So let's take a look at the book just a little bit inside. So uh, for instance, the first section of preface is called the Lotus Sutra. It's not difficult to understand. This tells already something, right? So it seems like the whole purpose of publishing this book is to make the teachings and its practical down-to-earth implications of the Lotus Sutra accessible to everyone, including you. But the question is, why is that purpose important? As you will find out in the early of this book, that's the foremost wish of the author, Nikkyo Niwano. So for instance, he says in the book, I wrote this book for two reasons. The first is that I want people today to understand and respond to the Lotus Sutra's true spirit. It was with this basic intention that I decided to write this commentary. The second reason, let me stop here so that I will not ruin your enjoyment of this reading this book. So what does it say? First and foremost is to, for you to understand and respond to the spirit of the Lotus Sutra. It's interesting, right? That, that means author is not seeing the Lotus Sutra itself as a, like a mere theoretical text. But the Lotus Sutra for the author seems to be the way of life. That's interesting. And he's also saying that for you to understand, that means the author is confident that each one of us is able to understand and comprehend and embody the spirit of the Lotus Sutra. That's why he says you do not only understand it, but you will respond practically to the spirit of the Lotus Sutra in your life. How would it look like? If you can embody the spirit of the Lotus Sutra, the universal awakening, universal acceptance of who you wholly are in your everyday life together with others, rather than denying yourself, you know, um, you know, negating other people's intentions and hearts and feelings, but accommodating everyone's presence into your life. That seems like a promising way to the end of suffering, but maybe the process of walking that path itself is the goal of Buddhism. He also says, while my goal is to encourage you to read the Lotus Sutra, you will be able to understand it even better if you use this book as a companion text to the Sutra. This is great news too. So that means, you know, we've been using throughout this channel, this translation, of the Lotus Sutra, translated by Michio Shinozaki, my mentor, Buxiporin, my another mentor, my friend David Earhart. This now attains the corresponding commentary, Buddhism for today. Let me link that in the description box or comment below so that you can purchase it through that link. Buddhism for today is actually the revised significantly revised translation of the original book, Buddhism for Today, which was published in 1975 or 6, which is almost half a century ago. Among so many great things about this book, Buddhism for Today, is that this is not just an introduction or explanation of the Lotus Sutra in a practical way, but also it's a great introduction to Buddhism and the thoughts of Buddhism and how to practice and embody to alleviate your and other people's suffering in, through our daily practice. As one of the international advisors, Richard Kosekai, Dr. Dominic Scrangelo, once said in, uh, in his podcast, Richard Kosekai in a nutshell, practices and teachings of Richard Kosekai Buddhism are driven by an important central question, which is to say, how can we, you and I, and everyone else who are interested in Buddhism and the Lotus Sutra, transform each moment of our ordinary life into an extraordinary site of Buddhist practice. How can we transform each and every encounter, single moment of our daily experience into the site of awakening, being more kind, being a better person based on the Buddhist 
teachings and practices. Before you forget, I would encourage you to check out the book through the link I put below. I forgot to say, but actually Dr. Dominic Scalangelo is a translator of this book, Buddhism for Today. Now let you go back to the video. So this book, Buddhism for Today, goes over the life of the Buddha and also how Buddhism began and also covers the gist of the basic Buddhist teachings such as Four Noble Truths, Impermanence, No Self, Eightfold Path, and so on, in a both theoretical explanation and practical, down-to-earth ways. That's great, right? And of course, the author doesn't forget to present the philosophical, wondrous meanings of Lotus Sutra. So for instance, at some point in the book, he says, when he mentions the uh, eternal life of the Buddha, that's a central concept in chapter 16 of the Lotus Sutra. He says, the original Buddha, the original Buddha is timeless. Always in a world, the original Buddha has no beginning and no end, and so is ever present, manifesting in whatever form is appropriate to the time and place to transform living beings according to their capacities for understanding the truth. If you further dive into the philosophical meaning of the Lotus Sutra, I would suggest Buddhism for today is a great point to start and also the, get you f familiarized with the thought and the practice of the Lotus Sutra. And also, if you want to go deeper than that, 